Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a, a Grove board, which has an Atmega 328P on it, that I've modified to use an external debugger, the Snap Programmer, and I'm going to rip the configuration bits off of it and then try and program a, a new program, a simple little one, with those configuration bits in and burn them back in, okay, using MPLabX. So here we go. So we're going to start with a project like this, a standalone project at mega 328p. And we're going to use the snap that I've got right here. XC8 2.32. And I'm going to call it at mega 328p config bits burn. Let's try and burn it in. Okay. I start here. So source files, new, new C main file, like that. I'm going to call it burn config, like that. All right. So xc.h, which is the way we do it in MPLAB X. Let's open this up a little bit. Or maybe not. <laughs> I just lost it. Hold on, where'd it go? There we are. All right. Uh, there. Void there. I'm just going to do an ASM knob right there. Nothing complicated. All right. So uh, I'm going to compile it just to make sure that it compiles well. And it does. Great. Fantastic. Now, what do I do? I want to be able to read the config bits. So I need to set the project properties to be in ISP mode. So I go into the snap here, programs to memory communication. I want to exit debug wire and I want it to go to ISP mode like that. I say apply. That I should be able to say okay. For whatever reason, sometimes it locks up when I do this. Yep, there we go. Good. All right. Now I'm going to go to uh, window target memory views, configuration bits like this. And this is similar to how it's done on the PIC. Um, and it says here, recommended that you read the configuration bits on the AVR device before editing values. Okay, that's a little warning right there. So I'm gonna quit that. And right here, so this is the configuration bits view. Right here is a read configuration bits icon, which is different than over here which is read device memory main project, um, which doesn't allow you to look at the config bits. It's, it's other things, okay? So I go right here and let's see if it works. We're connecting to the snap. Oh, uh, it seems to be working. think. Oh, there we go. All right, it appears to have red. This is now black, it's not red anymore. Okay. Um, there it says program configuration bits. And here it says generate source code to output. So let's, uh, let's try and just program them. Let's imagine that, it, you know, maybe I wanted to change one of these. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to change anything. Um, but I could potentially make changes in here. And let's see if we can burn it back in. Wait. 
Waiting, waiting, waiting. Just seeing if the snap does anything. Not seeing any lights on the snap. Oh, there, I just saw some lights on the board. It looks like it programmed. Fantastic. Now I'm going to go generate source code to output. So maybe it will generate a bunch of pragma statements that I can put directly into my C source file. All right, so I did. Um, all right, so I'm going to copy that. Then I'm going to go back in here to source files. And let's paste it right there. Okay. I'm going to recompile that. Okay. Now I'm in ISP mode. So I'm not going to try and program using the programmer or the debug icon over here. I'm just going to hit make and program device main project. How about we try that? Connecting to programmer. It should be doing this in ISP mode as opposed to debug wire mode. I'm just going to keep an eye on the lights on my board. To see if I see the TX uh, yeah, I just have some lights flash. Seems to have programmed complete. Let's see if I Yeah. Run main project. Connecting to programmer. It's not going to actually do anything because the program doesn't actually have much of anything going. I just want to see if it actually connects to the board. And it appears to be doing so. Actually, maybe I'll take a video of it. There we go. Capture that. Yep, it programmed. Now let's just try and, and debug wire mode. Okay, so debug main project. Let's see what happens there. Maybe something will happen. All right, so it's giving me the ISP error. Let's switch it up. So we go snap, communication, debug wire, okay, like that, and then we go like this, Here's hoping. Still waiting. Oh, there it is. 
failed to launch debug session using debug wire. Do you want to use ISP to enable debug wire? The answer is yes. Please toggle power. All right, so I do this. I unplug. Uh, hold on. Like that. There, that's toggled. It appears to be halted. Yeah, seems to work. All right, game on.